Hello, I'm Jennifer Lee, and this is Jocelyn Prada, and we're reporting live from Hanson Hall at James Madison University. We're here today to inform you about how technology as a whole is affecting how we interact with others. Although technology is part of our everyday life, we cannot let it control who we are. We must realize that there is a difference between virtual relationships and relationships we encounter face to face. Okay. okay. We have conducted some interviews to get JMU students and faculty's opinions on how technology affects relationships and how we interact with others. Do you think technology is affecting our ability to interact with other people? Yes. How so? Um, I see people relying on technology as a crutch or as a way to make situations less awkward or um, avoiding studying because they're on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or just on their phones. And I think that that inhibits people from um, performing their best in like oh everyday life. Do you think technology is affecting others' abilities to interact and connect with other people? Yes, I do. How so? Well, I know personally for myself, I was on the bus the other day, and I was on my cellular phone, and I don't know, it had to be about three or four bus stops, and I didn't notice one of my lovely residents was sitting in front of me and taking pictures of me the whole time. I was completely oblivious that he was on the bus because I never took my head up from on my phone. I could have missed out on making so many new friends while I sat on the bus, but instead, I was texting. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I think that people are becoming more focused on their um, social media than they are with face-to-face -face interaction. For example, like when you're talking to someone, a lot of times they're more focused on their phone than they are with what you have to say. Think our way to interact with other people. Yeah, I do think that technology affects the way that we interact with other people. I think that it doesn't really let your real emotions come out because whenever you're typing or something like that, you, you can't give any facial expressions or give any body cues. <laughs> So that's true. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree because we're like with all the technology and everything, we're losing face-to-face -face interaction and all that, and um, everything's online now. So technology is affecting others' abilities to interact and connect with other people. Yeah, I do. Well, how so? Because I feel like nowadays we don't really have face-to-face -face conversation with a lot of people, which is for me, I think it's very important. Technology is affecting others' abilities to interact and connect with other people? No. How so? Uh, I chill hard still with other people. Okay. I don't have an answer really. Do you think technology is affecting others' ability to interact with other people? Yeah, I really think it does. How so? Um, I think people get very distracted. I think that their social skills and communication skills diminish the more and more time they spend not interacting with other people. I think that spending too much time interacting with people on social media, which isn't inherently bad, but if your entire relationship is based on an exchange that's on social media, you begin to lose skills of face-to-face -face communications. Now, this is supported by the literature, too, in, in sociology and psychology and communications, that the more people, uh, the more time people spend not communicating face-to-face, -face, the more difficult time they have doing it. It, 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 it makes sense. I mean, we develop relationships and relationship skills by actually doing it, by actually talking to people, exchanging, asking questions, understanding people that way. Is that, do you have any suggestions for people to improve their interactions with other people? Yeah, put your cell phone down once in a while and, you know, stop watching television sports all the time and, you know, spend a little, spend a little time, maybe even intentional time, like saying, hey, maybe an hour a day, I'm just going to spend without being plugged in or I'm going to ask a friend, let's go get coffee and let's just talk. Mm -hmm. Let's not put our cell phones on the table and constantly looking at them and stuff. I think that's easy enough to do, and I think when people do it, they begin to really enjoy it, and then they end up doing it more and more. All right, thank you.